Welcome back, brothers and sisters. So, this is the study on the book of Revelation. Now, as you know, most of the book of Revelation is made up of three sets of apocalyptic judgments on the earth and the inhabitants of the earth, all right, which is given as seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven plagues or bowl judgments, or in some Bibles it says vials of judgment. Now, we have three sets with the seven seals starting off with the seven seals then the seven trumpets and then the seven plagues or bowls right now while many people believe that the seals will be fulfilled in the reverse order from my studies i can only see a steady progression of destruction after the resurrection rapture or the escape of the bride takes place now um over here i wanted to show you a correlation between this middle set the seven trumpets and this set the seven plagues or the seven bowls okay starting from the sec second trumpet okay as as i was saying that they just get worse they get progressively worse so i believe it's in um it's in order like this comes first then this and then this okay because over here in the second trumpet as you can see that the burning mountain is cast in the sea which i believe is going to be huge uh super volcano one third of the sea turns to blood, one third sea creatures, and one third ships are destroyed. Over here in the second uh, plague, all oceans become toxic and every sea creature dies. Now the third one, a large burning asteroid or planetoid, wormwood, destroys one third of the rivers and drinking water sources are contaminated. Note the one third here. Whereas in the third plague, all rivers and drinking water sources become toxic. Now over here on the fourth you have one third of the sun is smitten, one third of the moon, one third of the stars darken, and over here in the fourth, the sun scorches mankind with its excessive heat. In the fifth, we have the you know the demonic invasion from the bottomless pit by locusts or insectoid beings. All right. So over here in the fifth, you know it says a locust invasion. Now, if you've ever seen a locust invasion, you will note that it the sky gets darkened by the locusts, by the moving swarm of locusts, right? Now, I want to show you something interesting here, okay? Now, in this, where you have the locust invasion happening in the fifth trumpet, now in the fifth plague, you have gross darkness falls upon the beast's seat and his kingdom. People know their tongues in agony. Okay, so you have gross darkness here and you have a sort of like the, all the trumpets seem to be a shadow of something that's coming that's even worse, you know, higher in magnitude than what it was in the trumpets, okay? Now, in the sixth, this is very interesting, this mentions Euphrates, okay? Four angels lose from the Euphrates to kill one-third of mankind with a demonic army of 200 million demonic beings, okay? Now, here in the sixth plague, Euphrates is mentioned again. So there's a direct correlation between the trumpets and the plagues. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you that in my study I found that it gets progressively worse. And in the second set, one third is mentioned throughout. All right. Now, the seventh trumpet and the seventh plague are both declarations from heaven. For example, in the seventh trumpet, the seventh angel sounds the seven thunders, and then the mystery of God is finished as given to the prophets. And in the seventh uh, plague, the great voice from the temple in heaven declares, It is done. Okay, so this is extremely interesting. I have found these correlations very interesting and I wanted to share them with you. But while I was in the midst of the study, the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to something amazing. And that is the true revelation that I'm going to share with you today. Now, if you look at this, one third, okay, now we know there are three sets of apocalyptic judgments, okay, the middle set mentions one third okay one third of trees then you have one third of the sea turning to blood then you have one third of the sea creatures one third of ships destroyed wormwood destroys one third of the rivers one third of the sun smitten one third of the moon one third of the stars darkened day and night both shortened by one third and the four angels lose from the euphrates euphrates to kill one third of mankind okay which is like basically if this is a war then uh, this is a war casualty list of nearly two billion people so this is again one third 
Now, what's interesting here is that when the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to this middle set, so many one thirds, I did a count. And what do you know? It's one third is actually mentioned exactly 10 times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, another thing about 10, I've mentioned this here in the importance of 10. In Genesis 1, the phrase God said is used 10 times. Then we are given the 10 commandments. A tithe is always 10%. So Passover lamb is selected on the 10th day of the first month. The 10th day of the 7th month is the day of atonement. And there are finally there are 10 generations of man who lived on the earth before the floodwaters came from Adam to Noah. 10 generations. Uh, you've seen my study on that before. Now, this is what this is what this brought to light. When God wants to truly emphasize something, he gives it to us in sets of 10. All right. So now here's the interesting bit. Okay. And this is what the true revelation from the book of Revelation in. Okay. In the book of Revelation is, in Revelation, three sets of destruction, seven seals, seven trumpets, and the seven plagues. The second set or the middle set carries the 717 code. The middle set denotes the Vesica Pisces. So you see, this is the middle set, okay? If you have three sets of numbers in math, the middle set is always the Vesica Pisces, okay? And the Vesica Pisces is the root of three. The root of three, or the root of David, or the principle of singularity of Jesus in the Trinity is equal to 1.7, okay, in math, all right? And we know that the 17th is the seventh prime number. All right. Now, if you multiply 17 by its number in the series of prime numbers, you get 7 into 17 is equal to 119. Now, you know, many people have uh, said that 119 is a parallel of 2019, as in the book of Psalms. All right. And another beautiful thing is that 7 is the number of completion and 17 is the number of victory or Netzach. All right. So does this gives us a code, okay, that Seven, it is the completion of victory, 17, in 2019. All right, and here we have the Davidic coin, which looked at from a Gentile perspective also shows us a 717. Okay, and 717 is in the book of Revelation. It's literally coded, okay, literally coded in the book of Revelation. If you look at this slide, you will see that. This is the root of David, the root of three, the singularity of Jesus in the Trinity. Okay, so in the middle set of judgments, as I've shown you, you get the Vesica Pisces. So if you have three sets, you have a circle here, you have a circle here, this is the Vesica Pisces. And this, as you know, also contains the 153 fish. Okay, because the Vesica Pisces is the measure of a fish. Okay. So you have the width divided by the height, and then you get this number 17. We know 17 is the seven prime number. Now I'm just repeating myself, haha. -ha. <laughs> but it's coded all over. Now, if you see my studies uh, that I've done, let me show you. I found 717 everywhere. Okay, starting with this, you know, in seven days this world is going to change. That was 11 months ago. Okay, close to a year ago, and uh, I was shown a rainbow. I was given the word seven audibly, and the rainbow lasted 17 minutes. That was 717. And I was shown the key. Okay, I was shown the golden key. And then, post that, I did a lot of studies on 717. All right, and we had 717 all over the place in John 21. Go through the study. As I mentioned, the golden key was 717. And then the Eastern Gate study had 717. All right, so we have, we have, a, then we had the Father's Earth Shaking 717 message. Okay, so I also believe that 717, okay, is, we're, we're at the moment, we're in the midst of the seven day warning. Okay, those of you who saw my previous video know that I had given out the midnight cry on the 9th of August, okay? And that was the seven-day warning up to the 17th of August. 
okay when the door will be shut as per this uh, cloud prophecy okay now the the thing here is from the last video i also came to know something very interesting and that was someone had left a comment thank you donny uh, he had left a comment about this 8 and 23 okay as i mentioned 8 days and 23 days now 823 okay is very interesting because 823 in strong's greek is atomos okay which is an indivisible moment of time okay it's only used one it has one occurrence and that is in first corinthians 15:52 in a moment 823 okay atomos an indivisible moment of time that is the tiniest amount of time in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed this is talking about the resurrection rapture and now i believe that we have been given all the clues all right all the clues and it's all pointing us to 717 which is august 17th all right because that is seven months and 17 days from the first of january the code i was given in genesis 119 one for january 19 for 2019 right and this is all pointing to the fact that we are now in the seven day warning we are currently in the seven day warning now i wanted to show you something and and the midnight cry did go out in fact brother steve fletcher did a grand job of uh, sounding the midnight cry so we truly thank him for that and you know from the great american solar eclipse on the 21st of august 2017 if you had 726 days it lands you on saturday 17th of august okay now if you add seven months and 17 days to the 1st of January 2019, it lands you on the 18th of August. Now, there's an interesting mystery here again, all right, because this is this is what I wanted to show you, that we have both these days, all right, we have uh, 17th of August and 18th of August. Now, if you look at the world time zone uh, map, you see that zero hour is here. From here, it's plus one. From here, it's minus one. So, when it is 18th of August here in Europe, Africa, Russia, Asia, China, you know, India, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, this part of the world will be on Sunday, 18th of August, when this part of the world is still on Saturday, 17th of August. I just wanted to show you that. This is, the, this is a map of the world time zones. All right, so both the 17th and the 18th, Saturday and Sunday, can occur on our planet, as you know, at the same moment, Atomos, 823, all right, which also correlates with what the Holy Spirit gave me, that 23 days, you have 8 days and you have 23 days, all right, from this cloud prophecy. So 823, as I've shown you, is the Atomos, all right? So this is what I wanted to share with you today. It's all falling into place, brothers and sisters. And another beautiful thing is that, you know, in 11 months ago when I was given 717 and I didn't even know it and I was shown a double rainbow, just yesterday, exactly seven days, you know, as per our seven-day warning, I was shown a rainbow above, above the clouds. So God works in mysterious ways. And I've already shown you that 717 actually relates to August because that is 7 months, 17 days from the 1st of January. Whereas July 17th, which we had been looking at 717, was actually 617. All right, so I just wanted to share this with you. And I thought this study was extremely interesting, you know, where we found the root of David right it's a it's a beautiful study i thank the holy spirit for opening my eyes to this and look at this 717 in the davidic coin you have in the book of revelation the entire book of revelation is truly all about 717 okay so i'll uh, say goodbye now and uh, tell you that we are in the in the one week warning as in the days of noah right so goodbye and God bless you. I hope this helped you and clarified a few things for you. 
right? So goodbye and God bless you.